We have just done a review on Player of the Month, Mohamed Salah. My club was drained, but we managed to get together only an 83 and an 84 squad, each of those squads containing or requiring a team of the week. So coming in at roughly 90,000 coins, which seems incredible value. The prices of 89s, I believe, are like 30 to 40,000 anyway. So, I mean, if you want to use him for like a couple weeks, you get your good use out of him and eventually his time comes, at least he's high rated to put into a future SBC. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get in to the player of the month, Laturo Martinez player review. For cheap, fast and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to MMOEXP.com and use code DAVIS at checkout for 5% off your order. Yes, 5 foot 9 with high medium work rates, 4 star, 4 star for me, that is 4 big ticks, I think 4 star, 4 star is good, work rates is perfect and 5 9 in my opinion is the ideal height for a striker, his acceleration type is controlled, he's got 84 pace with 89 shooting, some incredible shooting stats there as well, 93 positioning, 93 finishing, even 94 volleys, we did go for the Hunter Kim style, I think that's pretty obvious, this card is screaming out for the plus 8 on pace, to from all the way up to 92 pace in game and just juices shooting up even more he'll be mr clinical his passing is disappointing okay i'm not gonna lie his passing 78 short passing is not great 76 long passing as well not really that good i know i mean you'd probably want to use him as a singular striker like a target man or like a get in behind type of single striker he's not a player that you'll be wanting to play tick attack of football with and one twos because that 78 short passing is a definition of average okay dribbling phenomenal 91 balance in there 90 reactions 90 hitting accuracy and 95 jumping ladies and gentlemen we have got a man that can hit the ball four play styles he's got no play style plus which is underwhelming but the technical is nice, the flair is what it is, and the Traveller is also pretty nice to have. So if you were to play him in a two-striker formation, I'd want to play him on the right-hand side. Because he's got the Traveller, he's a right-footed, he can go across goal and get in those positions really nicely. Now, we will be using him as the single striker up top in a 4-2-3-1, simply just on balance, okay? So he'll occasionally make the runs in behind, he'll occasionally stay in the middle, depending on circumstances, which I feel like sums up Vislaturo Martinez perfectly, because he's got the pace he's got good dribbling or i should say he's got the pace of a hunter to get him behind but he's also got that heading that you'll want to have in the box so i think having him on balanced is absolutely perfect without further ado boys let's take him into foot champs let's see is he worth the price into the box laturo martinez ladies and gentlemen six minutes and we just had the pause queued because my controller trigger is stuck and it's like very very heavy but that does not stop laturo martinez great positioning four star weak foot rocket of a shot oh beautiful start You guys are probably looking at me like, does this guy only score cutback goals? I'm sorry, boys. It looks bad. I know it looks really bad. And there we go, boys. We get a 3-0 rage quit 16 minutes in. We got a nice little corner goal. Turns out my recording was paused because I had to pause it. I had to swap my controller out. But we're back. We scored to make it 3-0. My opponent quit. Only 10 minutes it took him to get his first two goals for the club. And as I said, we did get that 3-0 rage quit. Let's jump into game number two. Let's have a look. Was it just luck? They were two very standard goals for a striker. Yeah, they were a poacher's finish, but he did what he had to do. One more into the Toto. We're going to play that off. We're going to play it safe. We get an assist. Is my opponent really gone already? <laughs> he was a one allow. He must be doing a speed run in foot champs. It's only a Friday night as well, which is interesting. We'll take it, boys. An assist for La Toto. La Toto. Over the top to Neymar, I see Salah at the back post, that is an incredibly well worked goal, Laturo's not going to get an assist for it, but that was a phenomenal ball to Neymar, who, da who did the rest, gave it to Salah, and then boom, we love it, very well worked goal there. Oh, he's still got it, you give that ball to Rodrigo, Rodrigo does hold it up, we're going to trigger that run for Laturo. Kind of started triggering that run, then stops. Laturo's head is absolutely phenomenal. So where is Laturo? He's actually towards the end of the box. I'm actually going to switch to him. Out there. And go. Oh, it almost worked as well, you know. Lovely stuff. Was that a Laturo Martinez assist? Actually not sure. If you're seeing this right now on the video, then it was a Laturo Martinez assist. 
Oh, La Toro, look at that run. I didn't even trigger that as well. That was completely AI. <laughs> it's so unlucky. It just falls straight to him. And of course, for the remainder of that match, after I did go behind, my opponent decided to play it slow and keep switching the pitch, passing around the back. You know how the FIFA community does it. But nonetheless, lads, we did play three games with this Laturo Martinez card. We did get four goal contributions, two of them via goals and the other two via assists. A 7.9 average rating, which is not so bad. For the pros, as you can see on the left, is a 93 positioning, 93 finishing, 91 balance his heading and his jumping the only con is that 74 passing which i didn't notice too much but if you are someone that does play lots of passing football you will most definitely notice it i think you can't really go wrong the fact he's only an 83 in an 84 rated squad you really cannot go wrong with the price of his spc but it actually comes to how he was in game he scored a couple nice goals in the first game and in the second and third he picked up an assist in each of them which is not so shabby that's a solid return from him as i said but i think in terms of the actual card i wasn't mind blowing by him he was definitely one of the worst players on the pitch but you do have to remember he was sharing a pitch with you know icon hollett neymar salah players that are a lot more coins than him um i say neymar he's only like 200 000 coins these days but still you guys get what i mean right I think when I was using him, he didn't blow my mind. He wasn't like, oh my God, this dude is insane. He's a must complete. Uh, so I'm not going to say he's a must complete. If he doesn't fit your team, um, I, I wouldn't do him, okay? I wouldn't do him. I'd only do him if you're rocking a Serie A team because realistically, he probably is one of the best Serie A striker options. Um, but if you do have lots of 83 and 84 untradeable fodder, then I would 100% recommend doing him because if you've got lots of 83 and 84 rated fodder, you may as well put it into Laturo, give him a run, maybe even if you use him as a super sub, but then afterwards, you've still got an 89 rated card to use in, I mean, if you want to grind out Salah or another high rated SBC like that. So for me, I'm going to give him a tick. I'm going to say I think he's worth it. In game, he's not amazing, but he's good for the price, okay? He feels like an 80, 90,000 coin card, not much more. But I do still think he is worth it coming in at a very respectable price, right? It's been your boy Davis. I'll see you guys in the next one.